Hey guys, it's me, host Superzoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome to another day vlog. Today, we're going shopping. I'm going to Wakefield for a big shop, and I'm really excited. Um, we're going to see what's in the comic book store. I'm going to see what they've got in HMV, all the good stuff, Entertainer, Asda, Sainsbury's. I'm going to go all around the shops in, in, uh, in Wakefield, so I'm going to have a lot of fun. But it is Red Nose Day, so I do think we need to open some Red Nose blind boxes before we get going. So... I need to go back in time a little bit because past me opened up some blind bags this morning and I think I may have filmed it. So past me, take it away. So today is a red nose day and therefore we've got two little blind bag red noses to open. And Superstar Junior here wants to take one to school with us. So we're going to open two blind bags this morning and see what we've got. It's also my dress up as a scientist. Yeah, you got to dress up as a scientist today for school. So you're yeah. in your little scientist outfit. Yeah. Okay, blind bag number one. Let's see what's inside this one. Ooh. Yeah. Huh. There's a little, it's a laughing, crying face. <laughs> ah, oh, the, the, the hard one's easier. They're usually the soft ones. These are hard ones. Ooh. Can I attach them to my glasses? Do they fit my glasses? Yeah. Oh, they let's, are. <laughs> let's see what's in baggy number two. Let's see what we've got in this one. Are we ready? I want the rare one. Might not get the rare one. Let's see. What's in this one? Yeah, let's get the rare one. <laughs> oh, it's exactly the same. We've got two exactly the same. We've got two laughing faces. So you've, you've got a laughing face one for school. How about that? Yeah. And we've always got one for two. So I'm do, I, do you want to try and put it on your nosy? Might not sit on your nosy. It's too big. Does it not hold on? No. Let me try. Come here. Ah, scratch on my nostrils. <laughs> no, they don't sit on kids' noses very well. Oh well. <laughs> but yes, today is Red Nose Day, which means it's Comic Relief Day. So please do give everything you can to Comic Relief if you can. It is a great British charity and supports a lot of children around the world that are in need. So do check it out. Comment Relief um, and Red Nose Day. I'll be watching tonight. Will you guys be watching tonight on the, the live on, on TV? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite scary movie? Thank you, past me. <laughs> so future me's back. <laughs> and like I say, we're gonna go shopping. I'm really excited. Um, it is Red Nose Day. Superstar Junior has just gone to school. Mrs. Supercell's just taking her in right now. My hands are shaking. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to go have some breakfast at Sainsbury's, and then we're going to, because we need to fuel the hunt, and then we're going to go toy hunting. And uh, like I said, I'm going to bring you guys along for the day. It is a day vlog, so I'm not just going toy hunting. I will be filming in my uh, toy room as well. So, oh, Mrs. Supercell's back. Hello, Mrs. Supercell. We're it's going outside. We're going shopping. She's too early. She's not talking. All right, guys, let's do this. I'm too early, I think. There's a close sign on the door. Let me in. So let's start our adventures over here in the comic book store. And Mrs. Super Sorrel has found a Minions Pop. I've not seen this one in a while. This is the Dave Dracula one. This has been out for a little while, I believe. I just haven't seen it in a while. Um, here in the comic book store, they also have a bunch of Marvel Legends, but nothing that I require at the moment. Everything's a little bit peg warmery. Uh, we've got the Dungeons and Dragons animated ones. I was kind of tempted by them to round, to round off my collection because I do have the first wave. Would be nice to get the second wave. Um, nothing really in the uh, Star Wars Black Series. I'm kind of done with Black Series at this point, to be honest. Vintage collection is kind of where it's going to be at for me, I think, with the mini droids. Don't really collect Transformers, but them Godzillas look nice. Um, there was a bunch of stuff in here, but nothing really catching my eye today. Oh my god, I want to cry. I did not see that on the shelf while we were there. That is the evil Ryu. Oh, I missed that. Oh my god, I wonder how much that was. I need to go back to the comic book store and price that bad boy up. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Hey, look, it's the owl from Disney. I've not seen Professor Owl in ages. Sing along with Disney songs, with Disney sing along. <laughs> It's a 
This week's oral has found the Valentine's Day Pops, including Sally there. A bit late on now for Valentine's Pops. Same as how it's a little bit late on for the uh, Fezziwigs and I forgot the name of the other one, but basically the, uh, the, the, the Muppets Pops from Christmas. Although I do like that Michael Jackson Thriller one. That is pretty cool. Oh, I keep seeing these Harley Quinn pops everywhere and they're really, really, really tempting me with the Joker, the plant, but it's the, it's the Harley and the, and the uh, Poison Ivy ones that I want. As you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Very tempting. Pointing out here to Mr. Super Soul that they do have two Hello Kitties in stock. They've got the Christmas one and one in little, like, fancy little glasses. It looks kind of cute. This is the works, but they didn't really have anything in stock today. They had the Aphmaus and a lot of Gabby's Playhouse and a lot of different toys all marked up at between between four and six pounds, all various prices. But um, yeah, nothing in this particular one that we want. We were checking to see if they had the stitches in stock, but uh, it doesn't look like we're going to find the uh, stitch capsules in this one. Going to HMV now, and then the Five Nights at Freddy's section is getting a bit stale in, in, in this particular store. We need some new Five Nights at Freddy's merch to keep the line going. I love a bit of Five Nights at Freddy's, but this merch is getting a bit boring now. Uh, the Deddy Bears are slim stock. They've got plenty of Deddy Bears in my local Wakefield HMV here, and uh, plenty of pl plushies from horror to kawaii to cutesy looking to all sorts. Lots of randomness, but um, again, not nothing for me at the moment. Super Soul's found the Hello Kitty as per usual. She loves a bit of Hello Kitty. I like these, these little displays that show you what figures are in the, in the packaging. I think that's quite a unique way of selling them. Very cool. Let's have a look what figures and comic books they've got on display this week. there for me it's all pretty much samey samey same old very peg warmer in here at the moment nothing new and of course Mrs. Soups are all fine for the plushies don't attack me with the plushie Mrs. Soups are I'll put it back please thank you pops they've got. I'm still chasing the Draculaura pop from the Monster High series, but it doesn't look like I'm going to find that anywhere. For some reason, those Monster High pops really are not out anywhere. Or it's just that they're selling out before I'm able to grab my hands on one. I just need the Draculaura pop. It's driving me insane trying to find this damn thing. But no, nowhere to be found. And my HMV definitely doesn't have anything really overly new except these Rebel Moons. I've not seen them before. tempted by those Godzilla pops though, they really are te tempting and teasing me. Oh, 
I'm just Ken. When I see love, she sees a friend. You gotta love that stupid song. Ooh, a Toxic Avenger. Very cool. Very tempting, very tempting, but I don't think I'll pull the trigger at that price. Yeesh! Lots of movies from my childhood coming back around again. Like Vampires Los Muertos, you couldn't find that for Love No Money a few months ago, but now it's back on Blu-ray. Woo! There's nothing really in here for me this week, so I'm gonna move on to the next star. This is my local entertainer, let's see what they have. I do keep looking in the turtle section because I do like these little sewer pipes from Treasure X and they are marked down now. And these little mini stretchy turtles are down to a fiver. Um, is these Akido? I don't know how you would pronounce that. These things keep tempting me, but um, I'm just, it's these prices, man. The, regu the regular Akidos are not that expensive, but because it's got a turtle license, it makes it ridiculously expensive. Hey guys, so this is what I'm talking about. So look, series one for the Feed Me Stitch are in the same capsule as the series three. So this one's series one because it doesn't have any other distinction on it. It just has those two Feed Me bits. Whereas if you go to the new, I believe this is a new one. Uh, yes, it says there, series three. So double check your Smiths and your, no, not Smiths, uh, Entertainer and where, where, where were they? And the works and they've got them. But yeah, series three. Series 3 is now in stock for the Stitch ones, and these are the ones you can get in the collection. Series 2 comes in the burger box, so Series 2 is in the burger box, and then Series 1 and 3 are back in the blue. And then they did release some Love Hearts as well, but the Love Hearts are £5 each, and I'm not sure what's in them. But you reviewed them, didn't you? Yeah, so you've got like Stitch with like Love Hearts in his eyes and stuff. Not mm -hmm. cute, to be fair. Alright, okay. But yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. Meh. 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 Okay, so on to Smith's now. Let's see what they've got in stock. And this is the Spider Man 2 Doc Ock figure. Um, yeah, not too bad. That's not a bad price either, really. Uh, looking at the um, figures here. Uh, I can't see a Logan Paul in this though, but they do have those Monday Night War figures. Uh, I can't pull the price. I can't pull the trigger on them right now. The price is a little bit high for me. That's the thing. I'd rather because uh, I'm not. A, I love wrestling, but I'm not a big wrestling collector. So twenty quid each is a little bit on the expensive side for me. I'd rather pick them up second hand loose later down the line. Uh, and anyway, let's keep moving on. And see what else we can find in this store. Lots of video game merch these days. I love how much Mario and Sonic are on the shelves. Very cool. And the Five Nights at Freddy's section there with all the tie-dye figures in. Ooh, lots of stretchy, squishy toys. Gotta love the squishy, squishy. Five Nights at Freddy's. Gotta love Five Nights at Freddy's. But nothing new for me. I've got every single one of those things. I've got all of them. Urgh, I need some new merch. It's 
somebody tell me what all these weird things on the end of this aisle is? I keep passing this aisle and lights flicking through it, but nothing's new there. Um, then we've got the Series 3 stitches in Smiths now as well, so... Mm, they seem to be everywhere now, so yeah, keep keep your eyes peeled, guys, for Series 3 for Stitch, if you're interested in the blind bags. Although, I do love some of these Rainbow High dolls, they look so cute. Including this little pink one over here, I need to get closer, look. Look at the dolls. They're looking, she's in, he's like a bear. She's like a onesie. Aw, adorable. Trolls merchandise, do you know what? Still not seen that movie. I keep saying in every video, I need to sit and watch that movie at some point. Trolls World Tour, not seen it yet. <laughs> I think it's the World Tour one anyway. Is that, is that what this merch is for? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I have no idea. Athmau, that has been discounted very quickly to 10 pounds and I only bought that, what, a few weeks ago for Super Solid Junior's birthday and it was 25. Damn you, Smiths. Damn you to hell. calling it now a few more weeks and all that half mile stuff's gonna be heavily discounted a bit like the pinata merch that came out we some of that was heavily discounted in here we found him we found him logan paul with a teeny tiny bottle of prime this is the from the greatest picks i think it's called lineup but um yeah, 20, 20 quid though, that's the thing. I'm not sure if I could pull the trigger on it, but I'd love it. It'd be a lot of fun. Uh, moving on to another Smith. So this is a different Smith now. And yeah, exactly the same merch. Nothing overly different here. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's anything that we're going to need in this store. Things are getting a bit stale at the moment. I think that's the problem because I go toy hunting like all the time. I like own everything. <laughs> so there's nothing new for me out in the UK at the moment. So it's not that I'm being a Debbie Downer. It's just that there's nothing new here for me. Those box fruits keep tempting me though, but it's the price of them, man. They're a bit on the expensive side, but them, them little ones for $4.99, maybe the blind bags might be the way forward. It's just the blind boxes, the little plushies are so expensive. I did ca catch this uh, Toy Story Rocket Rescue Buzz for $39.99. That was very tempting. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. They did do one of those uh, a couple of, about, well, God, sorry, I say a couple of years back, but like oh, 10 years back at least. And look at Joker Mask! Wow, gotta love a Joker mask. I should have put my big fat face in it for a photo. <laughs> keep looking at these figures, guys. I keep going back to them every time. It is very tempting. Very tempting indeed, bro. I don't think I can pull the trigger. Well, we are officially back home. And uh, I've got some stuff to show you. I'm really excited. So, uh, look, where should we start? We'll start from the very beginning of the day. So, we went to the comic book store, as you saw first of all. Mrs. Super Sorrel kindly bought me a couple of comics. She got herself the Stitch comic uh, from Disney. And I grabbed myself, because I love these kind of books, so I got myself the Van Helsing uh, Bound in Blood. Oh, sorry, Bonded in Blood. I got that one. And I got Gretel. So I'm looking forward to reading those. And that's Dark Impulse's 32 pages of content. Both of these are by Xenoscope Comics. I like the uh, fairy tale style comics. And uh, I was a big fan of the... I've got the Wonderland series Omnibus. I was a big fan of that. But yeah, so I've got my Xenoscope comic for the week. Other than that, we were, we then moved on and where do we go next? I've got a couple of things that I did show off in a video that was for the YouTube Super Club members. So if you want to join the club, you can do. There is the join button on my YouTube page. Um, clicking the join button is the same price as a cup of coffee. And basically you, you get members perks. In, the, in my live streams, you get special emojis, you'll get a live stream once a month that's just for channel members, and you get exclusive videos and updates from me quite regularly. So it is totally worth it. Check it out down below. And uh, 
in a video the other night that's exclusive for the members, I did show that I did get my first Marvel Legends of the Year, Cyclops and White Queen. These, I could not not grab them, basically. I wanted the Emma Frost for a little while. I kept looking at it every time I went in the store. But the thing was, I went, I kept looking at Emma Frost and I thought, well, I can't get the Emma without the Cyclops because he's obviously in the same uh, attire as she would be, like, for, to match and to make the... Um, to make the not uncanny X-Men. I, I got corrected the other night by Mick. Um, oh, I can't remember which X-Men it was now. But yeah, it's, it's, so I, I always call them the uncanny X-Men, but it's not the uncanny X-Men. It was... I'm scrolling back on my comments. Scrolling back on my comments. Astonishing. The Astonishing X-Men. I do apologize. So yeah, I'm going to try and build out the Astonishing X-Men team. I think I've got the other members of the Astonishing X-Men in, um, in, in the giant Marvel Legends containers in the garage. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, you saw in today's video that I did point out that Series 3 of Stitch is now available. And it's available everywhere, actually. Uh, I, I saw them today in... We saw them in Smith's. We saw them in Home... Uh, B&M. &B &M, Asda. We saw them in quite a few places. Entertainer. And basically, they're £5 each. But they're in the same packaging um, as the Series 1 stitches so series one came out in these little in these little blue uh, ears then series two came out in a hamburger box like a burger box so i expected series three to be in something different but they're not series three i've gone back to these little blue clamshells so i got four of these to open on the channel because these do look pretty cute i couldn't resist so stay tuned as i'll be reviewing four of these bad boys and opening them up on camera for you guys so stay tuned Sticking with Stitch as well, because you guys know I'm a massive Lilo and Stitch fan. I did grab myself a few of the mystery minis that were still on sale. Um, I've got six of those to open for the channel as well. I love a good blind bag. And as I love a good blind bag, I had to see that these are, these are Asda today. We went to Asda and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> because they didn't have ten. <laughs> I got nine of the Series 2 crewmate figures. And these are the big ones as well. I got a bunch of... Uh, I got a bunch of the mini ones recently, where you can get, like, glow-in-the-dark and gold versions. But these ones are, like, bigger, but they're still mystery figures. And this is Series 2 of the crewmates. I got the mini, the minis, and then these are regular crewmates, I believe. So we've got nine of those to open up on the channel as well. So I've got a, a little bit of Among Us content coming up. And then something new that caught my eye, and I've looked it up because I didn't know what this was. I looked it up and I found out that it's Roblox, apparently. Apparently there's a new game in Roblox called Doors. Now this is Doors Series 1. These are distributed by Fat, Fat Mojo and Click Distribution. And they're a mystery bag. So I grabbed four of them to have a look at. And you, they're like little horror characters inside. They're so weird. They're like little evil horror characters. So I couldn't resist those. So I've got four of those mini bags to open. We'll see what characters we get in there. And then finally, guys, you saw me jump up and down with excitement because we've got one of the zombies we were missing. So we officially got the final one for Wild Vibes. This is number 93 in the collection. Hopefully this is the right one. If I open it and it's the wrong one, I will literally cry and break down. But uh, yeah, this is 93 in the collection. So it should be the bear with me one. Uh, that should then round out the Wild Vibes. I'm only missing... Uh, from the Friends Forever series, and I'm only missing the 80. It's number 80. I'm uh, missing, I believe that's the chase one for that range. That's the only one I'm missing now. The hunt is almost over for these stupid little zombies until the next series comes out. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this little shopping trip, and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. We saw a lot, lots of other cool things that I nearly picked up. Like I keep seeing those Monday Night Wars wrestlers. I just can't pull the trigger on them just yet. They're a little bit expensive for my tastes at the moment. Uh, I'd rather spend my money wisely on other things. Uh, the Logan Paul, though. The Logan Paul action figure really caught my eye. And the fact that it comes with a mini bottle of Prime was like... I could use that in so many action figure like photography shots. Like, how funny would it be to have pictures of, like, uh, you know the wolfman drinking and then turn into the wolfman or something you know what i mean like do, do some funny little skits with it but uh yeah that's that that might have to be something for another day 
But guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, thank you to all my channel members for uh, for for, jo for joining the channel. If anyone d does join the channel from the back of this video, um, I'll be giving them a special shout out in the next video. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel. Leave us a comment down below. Smash that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon. May the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>